There's a 48-year-old legal opinion from the Office of Legal Counsel at the Justice Department, which is basically like the Supreme Court of the executive branch, that says a sitting president can't be indicted. And so what Giuliani said was, we've talked to Mueller's prosecutors, and they think that that stands. They're not, they don't think they could indict a sitting president even if they wanted to. I'd just like to point out that since um, Giuliani's returned to the limelight in the last month or so, he said various things that then he's had to sort of walk back on or that the president um, undermined or whatever. So it's, it's not exactly clear. Setting aside the question of whether Mueller's team made such an explicit uh, you know, guarantee to Giuliani, I think it's worth keeping in mind that this has been kind of the policy of the Justice Department for a half a century. And Bob Mueller is not the kind of guy. Uh, I mean, I've covered the FBI for a long time. Bob Mueller is not the kind of guy who just sort of tears up 50 years of precedent. And so I think it is absolutely worth thinking about him as a conservative with a lower case C investigator who, faced with evidence, even if faced with evidence of a crime, is going to look very seriously and carefully at that OLC opinion and say, you know what, we, we don't have the authority to indict a sitting president. Although it is, it is the case that Leon Jaworski thought you could indict a president. Ken Starr thought you could indict a president. It's never been tested up to the level of the Supreme Court. So it's not like it's the law of the land. It's, it's not the law of the land. It's policy. It is, and yeah. I think some people have the impression that it's the law of the land. It's, it's not, not the law, law of the land. land. It is the standing legal interpretation of the land. I think anybody who's banking on Bob Mueller taking a, legal a really radical, liberal, legal, legal expansive radical, view right. of, of uh, legal you know, authorities, probably misreading Bob Mueller.